All right, everybody. Little, little weird. I mean, just, I mean, I understand when people get mad at certain things, they show their emotions and they really, you know, they, they, they might go on a rant and have no regrets because they're still pissed off after the fact. But to lose your job over it when everybody kind of agrees with you and because one act you did is unacceptable yet look at what we were doing 20 30 years ago it's it's a bit ridiculous and i think we're getting a little too soft in the game of baseball let's get into it hi everybody welcome back to uh you know touching bases podcast you like the the different angle you can see a little bit more of the wall probably not going to stick with it but i just wanted to say hi and then also go back to our normal view but incorporating some changes see what happens i just made a video and we were talking about ronald cooney jr and you know that was a, a sad story and now we're getting into something a little bit more i would say probably controversial you might not agree with me but back in the day you get into a fight there was people like full-on brawl swinging punching blood everywhere it it was kind of part of the game like tempers rise competition got intense and you rolled with it and that was the end of it you might see a suspension for a couple days but the mets not only do they suck but now they're just gonna get rid of anybody that has a temper tantrum just a temper tantrum i'm saying nothing more than that and i really mean nothing more than that Jorge lopez george lopez however you want to say his name one of the relief pitchers for the mets he has officially been let go he's been designated for assignment and he's not going to be playing for the mets anymore after yesterday he got ejected for arguing a check swing with the third base umpire and now everybody likes to argue calls nowadays and it seems to be happening a lot it's always been a thing and he gets ejected almost immediately this game was their last chance to not get completely swept well things went a little bit downhill he was pissed off that he didn't get the call the Mets manager Carlos Mendoza basically put a quote says we have standards here and we aren't gonna tolerate certain things I uh, should I quote him quote him okay I'll quote him quote him when you're not playing well guys will show emotions there's frustrations but there's a fine line and yesterday went over that line <sighs> Jorge Lopez got ejected barking at third base umpire he walks off the field and then untucks his jersey because he's done and throws his mitt to the crowd one lucky fan pretty happy to get his his glove i mean i would be ecstatic if i was able to get a, a professional baseball player's glove thrown to me and yeah it'd be all over instagram how dare him i <laughs> like y y the mets suck like they spend some of the most money in baseball and they can't win their problem is not the players they just have no formula to win they're they don't have a strategy they just spend the money on the big names and they expect them to come through now if you're a Mets fan I'm sorry like look I don't have anything against you I don't not like your team but it clearly doesn't work and it's proven that for years and years and years and for someone to be completely cut from the team because they untucked their jersey walking out the field and threw their mitt because they were frustrated and they said, no, I don't have any regrets. I think this was a stupid call. It's a stupid situation. The team is doing terrible and we suck and we need to fix it. And they're like, you know what? Zero tolerance, get the hell out of our team. Hey, more power to the Mets, I guess, but you're not gonna fix the problem by throwing people out because now I feel like as a player, you shouldn't speak up about how you feel about the way the team is going. We're, we're worried about PR versus actually playing. That's a slippery slide and I don't like that. That's not smart baseball. It's also not smart management. <sighs> you got the Gustapo of ownership right now. Yeah, I said that. Hate it. I don't care. Or I did follow up and say, no, I don't regret it. If they want me to play, I'm here. I'm healthy. I'm ready to play. And he wants to give his best. That was kind of his last words in his last interview as a Met, as now he's being released from the team. Kind of controversial. I, I don't agree with any of this. They're, they're going to call up a, I believe, a left-hander, uh, Danny Young from AAA from Syracuse. So I don't know, Mets, like it. Acting like you're being the good guy and we're going to hammer down on bad behavior is not going to win you any games. And obviously, it's not going to help the morale of the team. Lindor went on and said that there's an in-depth conversation and talks that really helped the team. And hopefully, there was a lot of knowledge passed around so they can make improvements and go from there. But I, I, don't, I don't see it happening. I, I don't and I, and I don't really blame Lopez for the slump that they've been in for being frustrated and then being frustrated himself for giving up those runs but uh, saying that's unacceptable for him to show emotions is like saying they're supposed to be happy to be losing games and act like everything's just peachy keen no this is realistic 
they're competitive and you just lost a competitive player. Uh, who knows? I think uh, someone will pick up Lopez, but I don't know which team it will be. It'll probably be one that really doesn't give a damn about PR and how things look in perspective, but really want to win. Clearly, the Mets don't have that in mind. They care about how optics look and how they look as an organization and their morale code. So in that case, Good luck, Lopez. Just a little bit of extra news, a little extra video for you guys. I love you. Like the video. If you disagree with me, if you do agree with me, subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.